Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to a hands-on lab. In this video I'll be showing you how to work with Apache Flink running locally on your computer using Python and Kafka. The goal of the video is to uh, publish some fake data points into a Kafka topic and learn how to use Flink SQL Kafka connector to consume the data and dump the data into S3 as a hoodie transactional data lake. Without wasting any further time, let's get started. So the first thing that we need is a Kafka broker and a zookeeper. For this, we are going to leverage the following Docker Compose file, which will spin all the items for us. This Docker file will be given to you. So all you got to do is come into the project directory and use the word Docker compose up hyphen hyphen bit. And this should start up uh, the zookeeper and the broker are running locally. The next step is we need three jar files. The first jar file is for Kafka, which will allow us to create a source connector in Flink. The second jar file is going to be the Flink 1.6 Apache hoodie jar file, which will allow us to create a sync and store the data on S3 on a, as a hoodie table. And the third jar, jar file would be Flink, F3, uh, Flink uh, S3FS Hadoop jar file. These jar files can be found on the Maven repository. Um, I'll show you how to search it up. So in case if you have questions, you can, you know, uh, follow this guide. So go to Google and type the name and type the word Maven after this. Go to the first link and whichever uh, Flink version you are, you are using, click on that. And then here you will see a, a button which says jar. Click on this and the jar file will be downloaded on your computer. Now that we have the jar file now let's take a look at the Flink code. It is super easy. So sharing my screen back. Uh, first, we create a table object. You can create a table object in either streaming or a batch mode. I am using the streaming mode. Then I define my current working directory. I define my jar file, which are in my current uh, local working directory. And I load the jar file as a, a commas, a, a semicolon separated file paths uh, by setting the key pipeline.jar. After that, I set the execution checkpoint interval to 5000 parallelism to four and checkpointing mode to exactly once. These are some very basic setting that I'm using for the Flink. So let me run this. As you can see, this cell is now in the running state. Uh, one important note, make sure to set your AWS access and secret key. Uh, hopefully make sure you set these environment variables out. Okay. Um, so now we have a table environment, as you can see, uh, I executed that cell. Now I have a simple um, Python function, uh, which will insert some data point into a Kafka topic. The Kafka topic would be topic customer, and we are going to insert some JSON documents into it. Again, pretty straightforward using a library called Faker, creating an instance of class Kafka producer, connecting to the bootstrap server localhost 9092, and then I'm inserting some data into the topic. So let's execute. This will insert about six, seven um, data points into the Kafka topic. Now, once we have a Kafka topic and once we have some data in it, now let's learn how to consume that using Flink and build a transactional data lake. So now we need to build a source uh, for that. We're going to use this. So I'm defining all the columns uh, that I have in that topic. So I'm saying employee ID, employee name, department, age, city, timestamp, city, state, etc connector as Kafka, topic name, uh, the bootstrap server, uh, property group ID, scan uh, startup mode, earliest offset. Again, there are other options that you can choose from. And the format is JSON. Okay, so what we will do is we'll execute this. And as you can see, we have now created a source. So uh, again, in Flink, there's a concept. We have a source and a sync. Source is where you read data, sync is where you dump data. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, after doing that, let me show you. Now we need to create a hoodie uh, sync, which is over here. Again, same thing. I defined all the columns. I defined my primary key in hoodie, which I know it's an employee ID. I'm partitioning my hoodie data lake by state. I'm using the connector hoodie, define the table type as margin read. Uh, this is the path to my transactional data lake. Make sure that your S3 path begins with S3A and not S3. Since we are using a library, a Flink F3 SS, uh, Flink uh, S3FS Hadoop. Define my record key, define my precom key, define the table type as upsert, and then I'm gonna create my sync. So my sync has been created. Now, all we have to do is now we have to read the data from source, insert it into the sync. So before I begin, so insert into hoodie sync, which is this particular one over here. 
select star from customer source, which is this one over here, the Kafka topic, okay? So before I execute this, uh, I wanna prune my H3 so I can show you that the Hori derelict was not there. So I'm deleting everything from my H3, going back to my H3. Here you can see I don't have anything, okay? So now, this one. Now what I'll do is I'll run this particular Python file or the cell. So again, pretty straightforward, right? We made a source, we made a sync, and now we are reading from the source and writing into the sync. If you wanna do any transformation, you can do this transformation uh, in the SQL query. Um, so again, pretty straightforward. Now we just need to wait for a couple of minutes. Ideally it takes about, uh, I guess about a minute or so. And now all your data from a Kafka topic will be inserted into a hoodie transactional data lake. So let's go to S3, refresh. I see a silver zone. I see .hoodie folder. I see all the um, metadata. Uh, soon I should be seeing a Delta commit requested. Uh, again, as you can see, Delta commit is requested and his Delta commit is in flight. Once it is processed, we will see uh, those partition. Here you can see I'm seeing all those partition. These are my log files and the hoodie metadata. It's working absolutely flawlessly. So in this demo, what you have learned is very basic, a how to create uh, and use uh, Apache Flink uh, with Apache Hoodie and consume data from Kafka. Thank you so much for watching the video. You can try this entire lab out on your local machine, on your computer. All you need is a Docker, do, all you need is Docker installed on your computer. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And if you have questions, you may leave, leave your questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video.